When it comes to the ReZero anime, Elsa Grandheart is an enigma. She can survive a fatal attack from Reinhardt and also be shattered into pieces by Beatrice, but despite this, she still survives and seems to have no wounds visible on her. So that leads to the question, how is Elsa doing this? This video will contain spoilers for the Apocalypse Girls light novel. Information for this video was provided by the one and only Gourmet of Gluttony. And if you enjoy ReZero content, feel free to subscribe and like the video as it helps me out as we approach 10k subscribers. We know that during the Elsa and Garfield fight in Arc 4, Garfield states that he had read a book about people like Elsa, stating that Elsa is a vampire and it's due to that that she doesn't die. But is that correct? Is Elsa a vampire? Well, the answer is no, Elsa is not a vampire. Seems like Echidna isn't the only person who drops misinformation randomly. To look at why Elsa has this power, we need to look back at her origin. Elsa was born in Gustico, north of Lagunica, as an orphan. Since she was poor, she had to steal to survive. One day, she was stealing a bottle of alcohol to either sell or trade, and she was caught by the shopkeeper. However, since Elsa was a young girl, the shopkeeper tore off her clothes and pushed her to the floor, causing her to drop the bottle, which shattered. Before the shopkeeper could have his way with Elsa, Elsa picked up a piece of glass from the shattered bottle and disemboweled the shopkeeper. This was the first time that Elsa truly felt happy, as she was covered in the warm blood of the shopkeeper, Elsa felt like her life truly had meaning. The Shard of Glass had a name on it, Granheart. It was with this that the Bowel Hunter was born. As she gained notoriety, she was eventually caught and sold as a slave, ending up in the possession of an evil shaman. This shaman was known as Holosio Featherrun. Helosio Feverun was a unique individual, as he could curse people, making them what's known as a cursed doll. Cursed dolls are mindless creatures, which have a name carved into their soul. These mindless husks then target a person until they are killed. In this process, the cursed doll gains immortality. However, as we well know, Elsa is not a mindless husk. And why is that? Helosio Feverun, for some reason, can bypass the carving of the name, therefore making a cursed doll, which can maintain their sanity, whilst also getting the benefits of the insane regeneration capabilities, as is what's happened to Elsa. Elsa is also highly compatible with being a cursed doll, thus her regeneration and powers are higher than normal. Despite Elsa's compatibility with being a cursed doll, Elsa is known as an imperfect cursed doll, which means that there's a limit to her stamina, regeneration and immortality. There exists a stage which can be achieved, which is known as a perfect cursed doll. If this state is achieved, one would truly be immortal. So how does one become a perfect cursed doll? Firstly, you need to be a cursed doll, like Elsa is. You must then kill other cursed dolls, absorbing their powers and adding it to your own. This is described similarly to how Satella consumed the other witches of sin. After a cursed doll kills the required amount of cursed dolls and absorbs their powers, they will become a perfect cursed doll, achieving true immortality. To become a perfect cursed doll, one would need to complete the ritual of killing five other cursed dolls. As of Arc 4, Elsa had killed four other cursed dolls. They were Dorothea Feverun, Hildia Feverun, Saria Feverun, and Sithonia Feverun. Elsa had the opportunity to kill Ornia Feverun, which would have caused Elsa to complete the ritual and become a perfect cursed doll, thus achieving true immortality. But Elsa decided against it, as she didn't want to partake in Helosio Feverun's schemes and become a complete cursed doll. And at the time, Ornia Feverun was mind broken and harmless, so Elsa left her alone. However, since Elsa had already absorbed the powers of four other cursed dolls, she was already extremely strong regardless. 
So why is Elsa so strong and why can she regenerate after being shattered into pieces? That's because she's a cursed doll and she has Psydol immortality. And for those wondering why Garfield thought Elsa was a vampire, that's because back in the day someone spotted a cursed doll drinking blood of a human and therefore people believed that cursed dolls were in fact vampires. That's it for this video and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time and if you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and thank you to my channel members.